Okay, Ian, so technique, brunette trained. A lot of flashbacks, Ian, a lot of, a lot of fun flashbacks yeah. from brunette trained. Yeah, so I was talking to Eric about that, and it's like, man, it, was, it felt like yesterday when I was here and getting beat up and thrown around the, thrown around the room by, uh, like, Logan and, and all those guys. But coming back and being able to not be a camper and not be a guy showing stuff, how weird is it? It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, like Eric said, like he, he was standing there and he's like, yeah, you know, Ian was in this room, you know, a couple years ago now. But uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to look around and kind of see like, you know, what what's the kid that was me, you know, getting beat up and, you know, seeing him like later on going to gonna kind of sprout and turn into something pretty good. When you see guys that got to beat the streets, guys, they yeah. kept grabbing you and wanted yeah, to wrestle yeah, yeah. you, right? What's it like to see a kid who wants to who wants to learn? He he was asking, and you were trying that like crazy Russian arm drag thing with the, from yeah. the wrist control. Yeah. Um, he was like, "What was that?" And the guy was super curious. What's it like to see a kid as a sponge? I think it's awesome. Like last summer, I did like a virtual beat the streets um, like workout for him, but it's awesome that they're here and you know they're scrapping. You know they're probably one of the hardest wrestlers in there. Um, they just have tons of you know tons of they want to learn so much about the sport and you know it's it's just great to see that you guys you just told me and i think i think oregon's doing it i think illinois is doing it they're having their state tournament later on that california is not having one yes yeah, so, washington had like a regional type not even regional like a league yeah what's that like and what's it going to be so like for you guys to in do north that? carolina um they had they had their regional last week last tuesday they had a regional tournament and it was uh, a li single elimination. So if you made the semis, you drop. If you lose in the semis, you drop to third and fourth. If you win, you go to first and second. They take top four out of regionals, and you go to state. Um, state will be next, t uh, the 26th, so next weekend. It's one day. Uh, one day, same same situation. How many divisions? There is four divisions. Four divisions. Yeah, Are they one all in the grade. same arena? So no, they're at high schools. Separate high schools. So, kind of like what Ohio did. Um, separated all the high schools. It was, I think what happened was, so we have no restrictions in North Carolina anymore, but it was so far and there's so much planning already done that in, in North Carolina, um, you know, the wrestling community really wanted to wrestle backs. Um, but they, uh, they decided not to do wrestle backs and it was kind of, it was like that, it was too late to kind of, the ball was already rolling. So they just kind of rolled with it. So you guys are going to be, you're going to one high school. John Mark's probably going to go to another. I don't even know. Do you have a third coach you can even go yeah, to a third? Yeah, in, in uh, Randall Diabe, will be going to a third high school. That's so going to miss. Are you going to miss a school, or is something going to double up? Um, so, what we did for regionals is we each went to a different regional, and then John Mark kind of shot over to another regional. Kind of caught. We caught four, but yeah, there's um, there's one regional that's probably going to get left out, or one state tournament. So. And you guys will have to just figure that out by numbers who you're recruiting and what you need, right? Right. And, um, you know, so I'll be going to, like, 2A, the 2A state tournament. So is it the second biggest or second smallest? That is the second biggest. Second biggest, yep. okay. So you guys are going <laughs> to – sounds like a little bit of logistics. Uh, yeah, there's biggest, a lot of moving parts. But yeah, a lot of moving parts. Out. What's the biggest thing you want to see out of a high school recruit? So, you know, it's really cool. When I got down to App State, me and John Mark kind of sat down and – we kind of talked about what we want in recruits and it was weird you know the same like we want to see a recruit that can go get a leg you know we don't care to see guys that want to win one point matches on you know maybe you know ride out or whatever in, in college but you know we want to see a guy that can take a shot and go get a leg and get a takedown when they need it like go penetrate the body and get to get to a guy so that's the one thing i really look for and just you know i you know i was talking to some coaches at the regional tournament it's like it was hard to recruit when uh, when we were just watching on video because I like to see what the kid does after his match. And a lot of times, if I'm watching on flow or whatever, I can't follow him off. I can't can't follow the guy, the kid off the the mat and see what he's doing in the background. So, um, you know, I'm really thankful that we can get back out recruiting at tournaments. What is the thing that you do look for a kid? You know, like you're saying, I want to see what they do. What, yeah. what do you want to see what they're doing after a match? Well, it's just how they're like. Do they walk off the mat? after you know a hard match and do they just lay down and you know try and catch their breath or are they are they getting a cool down or are they talking to their coaches see what they're doing like just stuff like that kind of you know just stuff that we want to you know when we get a get a kid into college you know those trends um that kind of culture is, is what we're looking for okay so you guys have a bunch of upper weights coming in 
right? Mm -hmm. You had no points scored at 84 or 97 in your conference. If right. somebody wins a match at 84 or 97, you guys win the conference. You have yeah. half the chance. So the conference, yeah, we won. 125 through 157, uh, we won. You won. You, every guy won. Every right. guy made the NCAA tournament. Right. And, and then, then two of your better guys don't, don't win, right. but still our, get wild cards. You get our seven Our 165 bits. pounder that was actually our conference rest of the year ends up having a bad semi-match. Um, so he had a bad semi-match and just, you know, had came back, took third, got a wild card to go to the, state, or the NCAA tournament. And then Thomas Flitz kind of lost in the, in the finals. Uh, but, you know, our first seven weights, we had, you know, we have hammers. And so we were kind of, you know, like you said, we didn't score any points at 97 and, and 184. So uh, we were looking to kind of build and kind of and get those bigger guys in to kind of add to our – because everyone's coming back. You know, our, our our starting lineup is coming back. So we except kinda, for 84. Except for 184, right. So, um, but, you know, we're feeling good with the guys we're bringing in that, you know, they're going to fill in and kind of – you know, be able to take some of that load off our, our lightweights. When you get back to Ohio, what do you do? Your wife's from the Canton area, mm -hmm. Tuscarawas Valley, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Tusky Valley. Do you hang out in Tusky Valley? Do you hang out in Fremont or Carver? Or do you hang out? Uh, so right now, my wife's not with me. She she's back in Boone. Um, so right now, I'm I'm up in Oak Harbor, Greytown, Lindsay area, um, visiting my grandparents, my parents, and and my niece and everything. So. Um, but if my if my wife were to be down, we kind of flip, you know, switch time, and I I go down there for a little bit, down hang out with her family, and and she'd come up to see mine. But her family was just down in Boone. It's only a seven hour drive. You hop on seventy seven, and you're down in Boone in no time. So it's not it's not a thirty six hour drive like Oregon State was. <laughs> That's right. All right, I got T ball to get to. You got anything else for me? No, no, not at all. I'm, I love coming to Burnett's. Whenever I can, I, I want to get back here. All right. Thank you for the time. Good luck recruiting in North Carolina, and go Mountaineers. Right on. Wait, who's your, what's the name of the – Yosef. 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 i got to get a Yosef our, shirt. Right. He's the man. Nick Nemeth. You know, we wrestled them in yeah. a duel. He called them the Flaming Old Guys because you had this, like, <laughs> logo with the, it was an old dude, and there was mountains in the background, yeah. and it looked like flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Flaming Old Dudes. I have to get Nemeth a Flaming Old Dude shirt. <laughs> Thanks for the time, dude. Yep.